today in Dilin in Timor Leste. Uh, Slumberger has been sponsoring the, this school, Santa Madalena Canosa, for many years now. Last year, in the context of the Bayon Dining Cell Drilling, we donated uh, one of the uh, 3D printers. We understand it's the very first 3D printer in uh, East Timor. And, um, and we have been following up the students uh, throughout the last 12 months. Uh, so we brought some of the new computers that they needed to uh, run the more powerful software for the 3D printer and the 3D scanner. And today I want to ask the students some questions about their experience in using this technology and what they're planning to do. In so Selina, you were telling me about this action plan that you have. Um, because we were, we're going to leave the school because we are in 12th grade. So we were thinking about uh, teaching the 11th and 10th grade how to use all the stuff. Uh, for example, the designing, the 3D printer, uh, the Lego. Uh, so we're, uh, after the, uh, our exam in November, we are, we are all going to be totally free and we have uh, a lot of free time. So we're going to teach the 12th, uh, sorry, the 11th and 10th about how to use the 3D printer, how to design. And after that, they're going to be the ones who are going to take care of this because we're living. Okay. <laughs> You're with Bonifacio, the school teacher, uh, Zenia, Joel, Anna, Nandi, and Selena. And um, uh, these uh, students have, be use, have been using the uh, 3D printer and other uh, technology um, applications that we brought last year. So I want to ask Anna, what was the, uh, the most interesting part in for you in learning how to use a 3D printer? Uh, the interesting part of learning how to use a 3D printer is it helps the students to be more creative and gain knowledge in uh, developing technology in the world. Mm -hmm. Is creativity something that you like? Like, uh, yeah, you appreciate Oh, you're a creative person. You consider yourself a creative person. <laughs> Not really. Not really. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. But that's the way, right? You have yeah, to experiment great. to learn. Yeah. About you, Senya, uh, on the other experiments and the other uh, kits that we brought, which one you consider as the one that you know have more fun with? Uh, the, the part of designing. It helps me how to create uh, things with, uh, using the math stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that mathematics your favorite topic? Yes. Subject? Of course. Yes. And what about you, Joel? Which one is your favorite subject? Mine is physics. Physics? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anna? Physics. physics too? Same physics. physics. Chemistry. And chemistry. <laughs> Very good. Uh, uh, careers. I understand that you guys are going to be finishing uh, by the end of this year. And then next year you're, you're going to be starting university and you're already applying for or thinking to apply for some uh, scholarships. So tell me, Selena, what, what uh, type of career would you like to have next year, or what are you going to go for? I would like to be an environmentalist, because um, the, environs, the environments inspired me to be an environmentalist. Oh, very Seeing good. the planet get sick, just um, see how pollution, all that stuff like plastics, it's slowly destroying the planet, so I'm thinking to be an environmentalist and healing the planet. What about you, Nandi? I want to be a computer engineer, mm -hmm. uh, or, or maybe software engineer, just anything just about that. Because <laughs> in Timor there's not much people like that, that's why I want to be one in the future. Very good. Fantastic. Anna? Tell us about your uh, future profession. Uh, I wanted to be a civil engineer. Uh, the reason why I chose civil engineer because in Timor there's not much of uh, people that are working in that part, in that area. And also to help uh, develop the country. Fantastic, very good. Joel, can see you back there. <laughs> so you still have one more year. So what, what are you going to do in two years time? Doctor, a special doctor to help people, especially in their heart, because I believe that nowadays time people is using technology and that could help them to reduce their health. So I'll try to fix their health to heal them 
from what the influence that they have has proved my heart. That's really Fantastic. So, so there will be a cardiologist, is that how you call it? Excellent. And Xenia, what about you? I'm going to continue studying in natural sciences area. And you are planning to uh, become a school teacher? And you're going to be teaching, yeah? Natural science and mathematics. That's fantastic. So that is the end of, of our visit today. We're very happy to see how the little contribution that we did brought some technology that uh, kids in the developed countries like uh, such as Australia are using and bring it here to, uh, to East Timor that is the uh, youngest nation in Asia and, and these students profiting of that technology and learning new skills. So we're looking forward to continue our relationship uh, with the school and our collaboration and uh, helping building this beautiful nation. Thank you.